Ooh, yeah, dig it. Today I'm going to talk about three reasons why you should pick up some WWE stock, especially right before their annual flagship event, uh, WrestleMania. Uh, from me, perhaps you should consult with your shrink. Uh, that said, that said, that said, yeah, dig it. Three reasons why I think there's a lot of value in the WWE stock right now is number one, right? And why you might want to pick it up right now, why I am personally, is that the stock, like the entire stock market, is down. And I'm going to give you a brief uh, breakdown of the fundamentals of the business. So right now, in the fourth quarter of uh, 2019, they generated, uh, they did 18%, they had an 18% uh, increase over, over uh, the, how the fuck do I say this? F from the previous quarter, from 12 months prior, see? I'm not that good at this. And on top of that, for the, year, for the for entire 2019, they did $960 million in revenues. And in spite of that, the stock has dropped. Let's see how much has it dropped. I'll tell you exactly how much has dropped. Just since the turn of the year, the value of WWE has gone from, let me tell you this, uh, from around 5.2 billion dollars in market cap like market value down to 2.68 right now that's almost a half is cut in half so what does that tell you they're doing almost a billion dollars in revenue but they're only worth 2.5 come on so the value is down i'm gonna tell you this again they did almost a, a billion dollars in revenue 960 million their revenues come from these big tv deals that they have that are already set in stone so they're not going to be hurting for revenue on top of that in spite of doing record revenue last year, their subscriber, the WWE Network, they're basically their Netflix, but for wrestling, subscriber count was down, right? You see where I'm going with this, right? Subscriber count was down. On top of that, live event attendance is down. So what does that tell you? They generated a historic number in spite of live attendance being down and in spite of their subscribers for their streaming service being down. That tells you you have a really strong business with a lot of upside. In spite of this, the stock is the stock is cut in half. So what I do, I'd, I'd go body slam your, your, your stock broker or just download Robinhood and just, just pick up a bunch. Now, reason number two, I'm gonna get to that right now. What I just said was subscriber numbers are down. What do you think I've been doing when I'm not reading or doing work or talking into this phone like a damn fool? I'm watching WWE, I'm reliving my childhood. I'm watching Macho Me and Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan run wild on you. I'm watching that on YouTube and I have the WWE Network. So I've just been binge watching that before I go to sleep. So what I'm getting at here is numbers have been down, but what are people doing when they're at home? Again, Netflix, usage is up. WWE subscribers, uh, network subscribers, that will, common sense says that that will go up. And while a lot of event attendance Obviously, they've gone into the toilet, but the bulk of their value comes from their WWE network. That's what allowed it to spike to the heights that it was a few years ago. I think it was worth um, $7 billion or whatever. So now, again, reason number two, WWE network subscribers, that number will probably surge. And that ties into WrestleMania, right? Is that what it was? I wrote this down. Yeah. It's sort of the same reason. WrestleMania also, this is a timing thing. It's their biggest event of the year. It's one of the it's one of the events that drive the most subscribers of anything that they do. Now, uh, usually it's a economic juggernaut for whatever community that they're in. Uh, everybody makes money. They pack a stadium, and and Vince McMahon, their CEO, is so good at, at, at leveraging his brand. He sells like merch like no other. And here's the thing: everybody's canceling theirs. The Olympics cancel. Euro 2020 is canceled. But WrestleMania is going to go on over two nights in an empty arena, right? So what does that do? People with nothing to do is going to go log on, buy it on pay per view, which some people still do, or subscribe to the WWE Network. The subscribers going to go up, right? So reason number two: WWE Network subscribers are going to go up, and WrestleMania is going to give that a boost. And that takes me to uh, reason number three. What did I write down over here? All right. At some point, this is gonna be over. And because of their business model, they have long-term deals in place that sustains the, uh, it's not like they're a retailer or there's somebody that depends on customers coming in the door every day. They have long-term TV, long TV deals in place that are worth like billion plus dollars. So they're gonna be set. So once the market recovers, so will this automatically. And on top of that, Again, what I talked about with the surge from the WWE Network, from WrestleMania, from the market coming back up, and from those things, that upside that they had from last year when they posted record revenues, 
that's going to go through the roof again. In my prediction, I think they're going to cross a billion dollars in revenues this year. So, I mean, if you're looking for some value to get it, and this is where I look for value, I'm going to cop it, is to definitely go in there, smash that invest button, drop a people el drop a people's elbow on the, invest on the investment button on, 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 on your app, drop a people's eyebrow, and just watch your money grow. Watch your money grow, you know? All right, that's all I got. Dig it!